good evening everybody i welcome you all to uh, today's session uh, today's talk is the final uh, session in the series of uh, in the ongoing series that wim hans has been doing uh, for mental health issues uh, in children and adolescents the last one year was um, um, uh, um, taking up topics uh, with special uh, focus on uh, mental health uh, issues uh, um, uh, pertaining to adolescents uh, today uh, in today's topic i'm going to broaden the focus and in also include younger children because the uh, subject that we're dealing with today um, uh, pertains to the entire uh, young population uh, which is school refusal and this is an important topic i think um, uh, for parents and other adults who are interested in uh, understanding uh, challenges uh, um, related to children uh, and it's a it's a um, it, it's a sort of a problem that uh, every parent would have encountered at some point of time but in different contexts uh, and would have dealt with it in different ways so i'm we're going to talk about really what we mean uh, by uh, when we say school refusal okay so this is how i'm going to go about it uh, i'll give a little introduction about what the concept really is um, what school refusal really encompasses uh, when we talk about children who uh, refuse to go to school um, how can we understand them in terms of some temperamental characteristics how prevalent is this problem so some epidemiological uh, characteristics um, to understand a little bit about the causative factors perhaps or the contributing factors why it might happen in what context it might happen how do we make sense of it uh, understand it assess it so that we can begin doing something about it to help the children uh so different approaches to management and what principles really determine those uh, uh, approaches to management i'm going to uh, summarize and talk about um, what different kinds of interventions psychological interventions have been tried in school refusal behavior and uh, then conclude by a summary uh, of whatever i've uh, shared with you all right so by definition school refusal is uh, any refusal by a child to attend school or to have a difficulty attending classes for an entire day right so um there has to be um a certain duration for which the child has been absent from school and uh, it has to be persistent perhaps an entire day or a number of days uh, why the child is uh, in, in which the child is refusing to go to school or is unable to attend school generally the characteristics are on a continuum it could be anywhere between missing long periods of school time without explanation to skipping classes or arri arriving late at school on a regular basis uh, displaying severe morning misbehaviors such as complaining of uh, uh, headaches or stomach aches or uh, um, uh, throwing a tantrum or saying that uh, uh, i don't want to go to school refusing to go to school attending school with dread and anxiety uh and uh, like i said somatic complaints aches and pains in the morning okay um another way of understanding um, uh, school refusal is um, uh, this has been suggested by an earlier author um is a severe difficulty in attending or refusal to uh, attend school so the child may also come away early uh, from school a severe emotional upset staying at home with the knowledge of parents so uh, generally when we uh, refer to school avoidance or school refusal we are talking about uh, it happening in the knowledge of parents uh, there's another aspect of school refusal which i'll talk talk about which is truancy in which case uh, adults or parents may not be in the knowledge of the child not attending school which is slightly different okay but uh, mostly when we refer to school refusal there is an absence of uh, anti social behavior it is in the knowledge of the family and it is sometimes endorsed by them okay. so these are the different uh, constructs that may be related but uh, are slightly different from school refusal behavior school refusal is an umbrella term broader term which subsumes constructs of truancy um, and school uh, avoidance and phobia school phobia uh, is an irrational and specific fear of a school situation it implies that the child has a phobia of a stimulus which is situated in the school so there's an active avoidance 
Absenteeism is a broad term which refers to either excusable or inexcusable absences from elementary or secondary school. School refusal behavior generally uh, causes inexcusable or uh, unexplainable absences from school. So what is truancy on the other hand? It's the absence of the student from school without the permission or knowledge of parents, guardians or teachers, which brings in a little bit of an antisocial uh, element to it. It's unexcused illegal absences or uh, going away from school. It's non-anxiety based anti uh, absenteeism may be linked to delinquency or academic problems or to uh, problematic social conditions. So here I've tried to compare um, these three constructs, school refusal, avoidance, and truancy in terms of different features. Uh, as I said earlier, school refusal primarily um, focuses on the anxiety aspect of uh, why children refuse, which is basically avoidance. Um, and there is severe emotional distress. Parents are aware of it. Uh, during the school hours, the child usually stays home, so there is no truancy or uh, unexplained absence. Uh, the child expresses generally a willingness to do school work, right? but it's just uh, that the child wants to avoid the school environment. And there's a significant absence of antisocial behaviors. Avoidance, on the other hand, may be uh, uh, specifically in the context of evading uh, some sort of a situation which is uh, personally uh, anticipated as humiliating or uh, insulting to the child, aversive. Um, and this may be stemming from a larger context uh, or primary problems uh, 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 such as learning difficulties, um, uh, a physical weakness or a, uh, uh, any other sort of disability because of which the child doesn't want to become the focus of attention and maybe uh, finds attending school aversive. Okay, truancy, like I said, no anxiety. Parents are generally not aware. It may be associated with other delinquent behaviors and generally there's a lack of interest in school work that the child might show.